they came up with this idea since Africans are strong and the Irish have their good traits, let's bring them together and create the perfect slave. Hybrid race. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to a brother on TikTok, I now have this information. I want to show you a video. Actually, I want us to watch it together. This is the craziest thing I've heard. Well, I've heard a lot of crazy stuff. So this is one of those crazy stories. Let's watch this video. By the way, this video is uh, filmed by a brother named Kennedy Gates. He was visiting Ireland and he had a conversation with a taxi driver and he filmed that interaction. So the man, basically the driver, was sharing his thoughts as well as the history behind how it started with white slaves and then they went to Africa and all that story. I'll show you clips, bits of it, but there's a specific part I really wanted to um, talk about, okay? Watch this. The Negro slaves yeah. were, had much, much better physique. Mm -hmm. So they tried to introduce inbreed, yeah. inbreed absolutely, kind the of, hybrid race. Yeah, the hybrid race. Wow. You see, this is history. Of Did you hear that? So the British tried to introduce a hybrid breed. They also called it a hybrid race. You might ask, what do you mean by hybrid breed? You cannot make this stuff up. It's a breed between the Irish and Africans. He used the N-word, which I don't appreciate, but that's how he said it. So they came up with this idea since Africans are strong and the Irish have their good traits. Let's bring them together and create the perfect slave. Lesson for you. Look at this building here. Yeah. And look at Trinity College here. Mm -hmm. And go back to this. Yeah. What do you notice? What's the huge difference in the two buildings? The designs or the color. Oh, what? I'll give you a clue. Yeah. And then he continues to share with them the story behind the windows and window tax and all that stuff. So uh, this actually was a lengthy conversation. Um, I believe, yeah, a four minute conversation. I'll show you a little bit of like what the man said about the first white slaves and how they eventually went to Africa. Um, but uh, the part that just um, took it to a whole another level for me personally is the hybrid breed i have never heard of that by the way maybe uh, you have and you can enlighten us more in the comment section but for me personally this is the first time that i am hearing that the british tried to create a breed i don't even know why we're calling it breed it's because the guy called it breed that's why i keep saying that but basically what they wanted to do is bring irish and uh, africans together and what whatever offspring comes out of that they thought that it was it was going to be like a spectacular uh, kind of slave because it will be strong it will be smart it will have all the things that they will need in order to get what they want which is you know enslave make money colonize take what they have take their minerals, use them, basically. That's what they were doing, right? So the hybrid story, though, honestly, I've never heard of it. And it seems like a lot of people in the comment section haven't heard of this as well, because these are some of the comments that I was able to read. Someone said, to further understand what he is saying, watch Outlander, Vikings. This one is recommending movies. Um, someone, actually, this, this comment, um caught me off guard because she wrote me being of caribbean descendant with an irish surname and she has her uh, she she put an emoji that is in shock which means like she's like wait how did i have my irish last name and she's probably going to go to talk to her parents and grandparents and try to figure out that story um someone else wrote wow i'm living in dublin for a while and no one ever explained this irish history better than this gentleman so it appears that a lot of people didn't know this history and you know if you knew about this how did that make you feel the first time you heard it because hybrid like i don't even know how they came up with these things like let me be honest some of um the things that this 
previous colonial masters have done is just out of this world like how do they sit down and come up with this stuff it's honestly uh, mind-boggling but i genuinely don't even know if i want to understand their brain but uh, th yeah this is something i learned today <laughs> let me know down below fam if you've heard about this story before and if you did how did that make you feel the first time you heard it and honestly what is this why are they wired like this why anyways i am Angel Zalalam. i'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye